Hello people of crypto, people of DeFi, welcome to the channel, GrayAdam66, I'm your host Bran. If you're new to this channel, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button because it helps my channel and my content tremendously and it'll also help Everdome gain some more traction. Um, if you look at Everdome on the day, it's not looking too good. I mean, there's a 30% steep decline. It went from being the 2021 level to being, you know, at the 13, 14 level, and it's picked up at about 50%, and we're at the 17 level currently. You know, I wasn't able to catch it on the bottom. I wish I was, but I caught it on the 17. It's very hard for me to catch these bottoms sometimes, especially with recently MoonPay requiring you to use a pay stub to buy crypto, and then them it, it that was just such a hassle i had to use an exchange and the exchange wanted to hold my money but i was able to buy the everdome dip regardless it took me some time but i was able to do it it was a i tell you what with this recent sec stuff bro i do not like how my mobility used to be a lot quicker back in the day of buying bnb or ethereum and then swapping it but now it's not and that really pissed me off today because i was really trying to catch a dip here um, but I guess I can say I'm okay with the 17 level, even though it's down a lot. I just, oh, that really just, I'm still mad about that. But, it, um, I mean, it was a 30% dip. Uh, current market cap is 35 million. All time high is 10, 8 cents. Um, if you look at like the all time uh, flat line here, um, you could see that, you know, the low is pretty much the 15 level. It's not seen that 15 level too many times, you know, throughout this time span of 2022 to 2023 here. Uh, we've not seen that 15 level that much. And when you do see it, you want to pick up because that's pretty much the bottom indicator for me. And one thing that is kind of disappointing about Everdome, which I don't see Everdome not succeeding. Rob Grin is awesome. I like the project a lot. It's my favorite metaverse crypto project. Um, as far as being in the metaverse, I think it's I think what they're doing is really good for crypto and I like it a lot. Um, you know, as far as news, they have an announcement of a Japanese language support channels on their Discord server now, supporting a core community demographic and an advanced plan um, for Japanese events in 2023. And they also have, uh, huh, I didn't even read that. Hmm, I might have to read that real quick. It says first line support for any issues. Uh, are they having an event in Japan or something like that? Everdome is committed to creating a truly global community, not just one for English speaking world. And we are determined to make our uniquely hyper-realistic experience accessible for as many people as possible. You can see this new channel. We plan to further expand international support. Okay, cool. So if you speak Japanese and you don't speak English, well, you can now use that. So that's awesome. I like how, you know, Japan is huge too. I mean, one of my favorite projects that I'm talking about right now, which is Jasmine, they're based out of Japan. So, you know, J Japan and crypto is pretty big. Um, and also they're having an airdrop for Genesis and the um, astronaut holders for the NFT. So if you hold the Everdome astronaut or you hold the Genesis NFT, good news for you. There's going to be an airdrop in March possibly of something of some sort. I don't know what it is, but I'll be sure to let you guys know when that happens. Uh, but right now, as far as price action, are we at the 18 level right now? It says we're at the 18. Are we? No, we're, 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 we're getting there. Um, we were down 30% on the day. Oh, I'm still so mad. I'm still so mad at the, the exchange that held my crypto for hours and did not give it to me to buy this dip at the bottom. <sighs> it, it is what it is. Um, but some people on Twitter are screaming Everdome and Rob Grin's a scammer. Rob Grin is not a scammer. He is everything but that. Um, I would like, I honestly... I think there's just people that don't need to be in the crypto space that do not understand the crypto space and how volatile it can be because if you can't see that Rob Grin is actually building and working on something here, hiring people to get the job done and being very proactive and working and grinding towards towards it every day. Um, I mean, guys, it's pretty much, I mean, what, what else do you want me to say here? Because it's like, if you look at the quality of their work and what they're making and the land that you can buy now, there's just a lot of work being put into it besides people just talk right but the fundamentals are still here and they're growing stronger in my opinion um but that's pretty much all i have to say i picked up some more on this dip as always stay sexy stay active and i'll see you guys in the next video